Hey everybody, it's Douglas here, and I'm excited because today I get to play with a tool called Magnific, uh, and it's free today. So I've been wanting to try it, otherwise it's like 20 or $30 a month, but it's an image upscaler, and it seems like it's changing the game on upscaling images. From what I've seen, it's pretty amazing the detail that it can create from a grainy image or a detailed image that you want even more detailed. So currently this is like the cutting edge, so I thought we would jump right in. Once you create an account, it promises <clears throat> that it thinks this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Use the controls to upscale your first image. So I created a few. Um, I've got 50 credits to play with today, so let's see how far things go. First I wanted to do uh, is an image of my stepdad from World War II. So let's bring it over here, and we can now say optimize for um, portraits, I would say. Let's go ahead and choose the portrait. Um, I don't think I'm going to use a prompt. I really just want to see how it does with its native controls. And so I'm going to press upscale, and this is going to cost me five credits. So let's take a look. All right, so not uh, too long of a wait. Here we go, and we've got this, it looks like we've got this slider that we can see. So it did an okay, it did an okay. If I zoom in, <clears throat> it's a little bit not as crisp as I was thinking it was going to be. All right, I mean, it's definitely crisper, which is pretty cool. Definitely all like the parts of the car you can see get a lot crisper, which is nice. Let's see his face. Still a little bit uh, could be better. All right, so we're going to try another one that I think would be fun, and it's me, my first digital photo I ever took. I was This was probably 20 plus years ago, and I was so excited about my new laptop and my new digital camera. I was on my way to college. So let's drop that over here. And again, we're going to optimize it for, I would just say standard this time. It takes sometimes a minute, so I'll just pause the video. Okay, and so it took like probably 30 seconds. Now this is funny. Here's the original. So I can see immediately it's making some edges crisper. Okay, let's see how it does on my face. OMG. So that is not, actually, you can see it really like gets the, all the objects a lot crisper, even if they're not quite accurate. It just looks crisper. But that is hilarious. That is definitely not me. So, so far, I'm not sold on facial details. I missed that I, yeah, it just definitely aged me by about 30 uh, or 40 years. So let's see about a, another image. And let's do a test of an illustration. This is an illustration of this um, caterpillar talking to a butterfly. So let's see how it does with those kinds of lines. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look. Right off the bat, you can see the details of the wings. It's pretty cool. The text, it looks like it gets crisper, but it also gets some more noise around it. And you can see definitely noise around the clouds. I was hoping that, you know, it, it does look more crisp, all the lines, but also it looks a little bit more noisy. Okay, so let's keep on going with our tests. The next one I thought we could test is um, these battle guys. This could be kind of fun. This was I was playing with my nephew and um, so let's take a look at that and let's go upscale and see what happens. All right, so here we are again uh, and let's take a look at how it did. It's got some more interesting details in, in the guy's faces. This guy's frowning, sort of look, looking. It didn't clear up the background. It must realize that there's some focal distance going on there and it didn't even really seem like try to clear that up. So it does seem like it's it does take into account foreground and background pretty well. So I've got, uh, let's see, I've got only five credits left. Oh boy. So if I wanted to do, let's see, I have a skyline. I have a mechanical turkey. I have this dragon. Then I have this pretty cool thing. All right, I decided to do the dragon. So let's take a look and upscale it. Okay, so after a minute or so, I think it takes a little longer if it's more detailed. This is really, I think, where you can see magnific shine. Okay, so check this detail work out. I mean, that is really impressive. Let's check out the face. All right, that is really cool. So it seems like what we've found, let's take a look here. Yeah, wow, look at that. So. This guy gives a whole face to, gives a lot more pattern. This is this is pretty cool stuff. Let's take a look at these legs. Yeah, I mean, that is a complete change. Um, so 
what I would say is I'm, I'm out of my free credits. I don't know how that exactly worked. Maybe it was the size of a couple of my images. They were bigger. I wish I'd sort of downscaled uh, a little bit more to see um, about, I wanted to get that last utopia vision in there, but it's okay. Now, so I think we've really noticed that for detailed uh, you know, images, it's really quite amazing. For the blurry stuff, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Um, like the older photos, I was a little bit underwhelmed. The illustrations, I wasn't really uh, overly impressed with. This guy just it didn't really change as much as I was thinking about. So really, it's interesting, this dragon, which I almost would have expected this to be the hardest, this is the one that it really did well. So um, if you want to play with this, and let's take a look at the options for upgrading. All right, so it's not a small price. It is 39 bucks a month uh, or 390 bucks a year. So you get a little bit uh, of a um, bonus here if you do the whole year. And this is currently the best. I know Runway has, is beginning to offer some of this. I'm sure Photoshop's newest version is gonna be competing with this. So it's a really amazing time for upscaling images, but also in the meantime, just for digital marketing or um, you know print, a lot of stuff looks great on your website, but if you're taking it over to print, sometimes you want it to be more crisp, and I think that this could be a really cool tool for it. So thanks for checking in, and I hope that was uh, fun for you. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and uh, click the bell. You'll get notifications. I love doing all types of AI tests. Make your life easier. Make your business run more smoothly. My name is Douglas. You can find more of my work at projectfresh.com. And again, thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.